Hi everybody and welcome to Japan Raid Lovers. I have to apologize in the past few months I would say get very busy in the personal life and job and uh, I did some development of camera as you can see but uh, currently uh, I, I, I haven't shot any videos and there was a big development before it was a circle one so let me just explain to you um, what I have done here. So if you see Obviously, the layout get a little bit more massive, taking over like it's a it's a two meter by one point, I think one one meter, two meter by one meter, yeah. And then I bought some extra truck, uh, extra transformer, and so on and so forth, and constructed a few things. And let me just explain. So I went to Yahoo Auction, and it's not an advertisement, and I bought a big bucket of uh, of uh, very very big. Uh, uh, trucks for nuts of uh, $15, uh, 1,800 yen, something like that in Japan, $15. And uh, I tried it out and it's absolutely working. It's great. And uh, I still have half of the box. What you see here is just a part of it because I just can't fit it, can't fit it. But there is some struggles that I will need help in my future next video. But right now, what we're doing today, um, we're going to be going here this side i'm planning a camping area with the fish pound and um, that's what we're gonna do today so let's just come with me at the meantime let me explain to you what have you see here so here is gonna be our original plan is, is a depot as you see it's my first layout in japan and uh, as you know from my previous video i'm learning a lot of stuff that i have no idea before that i used to you know uh, how is it called and then uh, how I'm finding in Japan and so on and so forth. So um, I'm kind of going on a fly in my first layout, but I think it's getting pretty well. Up there is a residential area, a little town, little village with a temple. Let me have a close look to you. If you see, sorry. Here is some farm area and then I'm trying some road, but at the moment is, well, I bought this asphalt paper and as you can see, the quality is horrible so i'm going to change that for sure there is some village houses there is two temple over there and then that's the area when it's like a sakura walk town that said look pretty good i would say um as a first one it looked pretty good and over there is going to be a station that coming and the line hasn't been finished continue down the hill on our local train which is the jr cho line and uh, going over over the flyover bridge and here is what i have a problem and later i will explain for the second video that i need some help on it and hopefully some of you can give me some good tips in japan and what i can do with it or how can i do with it because i have no idea my current struggle for a quick one about it the train coming up the line you see it's going down this way and joining to one of the main line over there and once the train um, coming up the line here is going nicely, it's going nicely, whoever is stopped right here. It's like no electricity going down here and all connection works. And after that, the electricity join back and continue. I have no idea why. So I really don't know why the elevation works very well. I have really no idea why. So again, um, this is going to be, a, I'm planning to have a, a yacht where basically our containers and uh, uh, cargo terminal and that's the service depot. Uh, I construction in the middle of the construction, the road and uh, this is where the road stand. This is a polyform and made it hard outside the court to stand a little stronger and um, that's where will be an entrance to the depot area uh, short road going to the highway here or the little village road down there the road uh, until the end of it and um, there will be town around a little farm area again there uh, here is a, a bit town area so the cargo is only going to be this side the crossover will be somewhere in this road well, it's going to be a sharp turn for sure for going into the cargo area but uh, you know the main road is continuous here and goes in there and so on and so forth it's a bit tight at the moment but uh, this is what we're having the island here or the, the mountain 
I made with polyform as well. They're looking pretty good. Um, you can see inside. And I can start up my train, one of my train. Let me start it up. And then you can see how is this looks like. Pop. All right, so you see, this is how it goes in and continues nicely going through the line and joining back here really nicely all right so let's get come with me and let's do together this area for the camping and fish pound here we come what i'm using uh, i'm using this material i both in a super in a, in, in, a, in a home center single home center and it's kind of like if you can see the the camera basically people use this in a house in a wall you know to make it uh, even and um, that's what i'm thinking but that's what is the picture and that's what i used in uh, tidy up my uh, my um, basic uh, uh, mountain side so i think this works and um, i think it's best for getting a nice land area so let me open it should i just did there you go and then uh, first i'm going to planning to have a single coat just a very little coat on it and obviously that will goes up here around and then make up the mountain area over here and over there so uh, slowly slowly first uh, let me just squeeze down. It's quite a nice material, I would say. Uh, easy to handle it, and you can buy it in big, bigger quantity as well, five kilos. But I'm afraid it's get dry out, so I just driving it a little bit less. There we go. So I'm just coating it right now outside, and uh, once it's done the first coat, then I'm gonna be start creating the the initial uh, space of the space of the of the fish pound which one of course is going to be round so <laughs> be not mistaken there uh, that will be round and then i saw it online and i will put a link in the video there is a website in japan in tokyo a small store that's selling basically all kit uh, all kind of cars and and uh, and uh, you know figures and everything is in basically English uh, the sign and you can buy online yourself and then uh, that's one of my plan now oh, let me just focus on a little bit that's one of my plan now I saw a camping uh, picture very nice one um, basically a camping site a camping man and and uh, one tent and so on and since i see that i just can't get uh, can get uh, out of my mind i say i need to have a campsite i need to have a campsite i also like personally i do like uh, love camping so it's kind of related to me and my wife as well so first i'm gonna coat it right like this actually it's looking pretty well so um it, this is my test run i'm planning and looks like if i think you're working out I'm planning to have my road in a same manner with this one so I'm, 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 I'm trying to coat my road with this as well later on um, so basically coat the whole area and then paint it later on so I really I'm really looking forward how is this works out now because that is determined my future development a lot <laughs> to be honest with you. and it seems to be working out just fine So now I'm going to be first handed and you can be a part of this, but I'm handing over that this mountain area, I need rocks around. So it's definitely going to be coming down from here this much, as you can see. And uh, first I just make layer of coats and layer of coats and layer of coats and uh, until it's coming down to this area and then get the 
get hard, then I'm gonna do another chords and another chords and another chords and another chords. So right now, just this one. Again, um, it's a rock, right? So how is it shaped? That's in first hand, doesn't really matter, to be honest with you. Once I got a little side of it, just like this, you see? Just to come up here a little bit. That was my, that is my initial one. Okie dokie. That's it. And then later on, I'm gonna add more and more and more. Now, because this will be so heavy, then I have a leftover polyester around and uh, which is I plan to just place it around in and out and doing this cover part of it maybe like this much area what I see in my mind right now <sighs> you see actually if I connect this here it's working out completely perfect but that one I don't need all these materials here I just take up whatever I did here, wasting time, and then just start coating it differently. Okay, you like that. Again, you don't want, or I don't want to be perfect. And please don't curse me. Um, I'm doing this totally with my own. Obviously, watch tons of YouTube videos. And uh, my last layout, as I saw it, it told one of my early videos. My last layout when I was in like very early age, maybe eight years old, nine years old, and that was more like a no-budget layout back in the days so it's why definitely a while back and uh, now I'm, I'm able to financially finance myself to honor this hobby and uh, here in Japan and I'm facing with a whole different drama which is language and development I know I'm in a country where real ways are really important and I know I'm in a country where people have a lot of enthusiasm of towards to this hobby, so that is no issue. Uh, but the biggest problem I have is I go to the supermarket and I generally don't really understand anything. So, <laughs> so ideally, and this will be connect here. You see that way? I just have some. And this will leave it until tomorrow, and tomorrow will be continuing. Oh, just a little layer here and there, and that will be a perfect for my rock wall coming off here. So that's just one part. These are all the off cuts of my tunnel. So uh, shape is similar perfect to use um, again because I don't want to be like very a lot of weight here I don't want to have a lot of weight adding so I'm just coating slightly and adjusting uh, on the go when I need it and the shape is doesn't matter right at this stage um, this stage is the first coat and then once by tomorrow it's coated up then I start adding and grabbing and moving. Oh, I'm doing some very stupid mistake here. Let me just push that back over there. Okay. Once this consistently, consistently coating nicely, it will be stay in place. And once it stay in place, then I can add the final one and make it look like a proper rock.
Let's see. Let's get him on. And I see several things, and one of the 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 one of the YouTuber video I saw that they're using basically a hard paper to make it like a rock uh, formation, and I I, I love that. It, it's really caught at me, and I think that's the direction I go. Okay, that's it. That's it for now. And now I'm looking for another cut because I want to out here the same way coming down and there is the same way coming down and I have no idea I haven't really cut it yet so let me see what I have left over in my bag which is I have a lot of stuff and uh, cutting shape which is very good and I will see what can I use for this for example this here that is absolutely famous that, that is fabulous but it looks cool and I think the biggest problem I have in the time is looks absolutely good right I think so let's quarter that too and another one don't worry about, about the gap here there is a gap in here you can see over the video uh, and I will show you let me show you a little bit on the side so you can have a look So here is the gap, then I will be coated outside anyway. So that gap, it's really no matter. Um, I think we're good with this one. We can make it both of it officially. So let me just cover it. Okay, like this. That's almost went to my truck. All right, let me see. So I'm gonna hold my finger down here. So it's properly coating up there. Let's see. Put it this way. And then just let it go down there. Once it's done, then you should be able to coat it nicely. See, this is perfect. This is perfect. That's it. Again, if anything overdose or overdo, there is no issue with that here because I'm managing in a way I was meant to manage it so I can took it out. The extra later on. Oh, ah, this is I was calculated that probably happening. Still, I have to manage it. All right. This is what I leave it here now. Because by tomorrow, this will form together nicely. And then I'm able to, able to take it to the next level. 
this side a little more. The color of the see how I'm doing it. Sorry guys, maybe you don't see a lot. But this is already like looking like a little rocky hilly. Uh, and I'm fine with that. That is fantastic. That is totally great for me. Again, I don't want a perfect shape of curve outside of my tunnel because I will call it with you know herbs and stuff like that and uh, herbs uh, grass and that that's what it will look like now that's it I think we're good with it right now here that should be enough for today and then now we'll wait it for waiting for coating it and get it done I'm not gonna touching the side there let me show you the side here I'm not gonna touching it because I don't know yet how this ends uh, after when I make the road, the street come in here and go to the uh, uh, the workers area um, where the, the shipping yard, then it's going to be a bit different, right? So I, 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 I want to wait that how that works out and how is this uh, connected. And um, so the idea behind this, there will be, there, there must be a road over here. So I just made the first painting out of it because I have some extra material here. So this should be the road that will come in to the camping area, the campsite here. There will be a beautiful lake and after when the beautiful lake is done, there will be a campsite here and fishing pond. And So you see the road is coming here, over there coming in and the campsite, uh, land rail and so on and so forth. So anyway, that's it for today. And uh, I'm gonna be coming back tomorrow for the oil coat. All right, so let's see. It seems to be we're getting coated well here. So now I'm gonna be shaping off the, the lake itself so uh, again it's free flow so let me see I was thinking around here small road in little parking area and then the lake itself so let me just do a nice round shape here maybe in this way so that's I'm thinking about the lay and then I make a second layer around just nicely coat it here and that's it and then maybe a third layer around Sorry guys, if you don't see well, so that's what it is the lake look like. And now I'm gonna come to put one more layer up in the top. it works out to be honest with you uh, let's see when it's get dry we are back on the lake and uh, the mountainside rock area it's just looking pretty good it's looking pretty neat uh, settled it looks like uh, this is settled as well uh, so uh, what I'm trying to do, I'm going to using 
this color as you can see and now I'm going to be painting inside the bottom of the lake area then I take the water uh, scientific water whatever it is uh, plastic water I'll add some paint on it uh, some some color as well and then pour it in and then uh, see what happened now it's the first time I'm doing a lake so let me just start with the paint right away This is the bottle what I'm using for realistic water from Kato. Uh, I tried it out, small amount, uh, working out. It takes a, a good one and a half day, I think, for it to get solid, but it works out pretty well. All right, so let's get dry this. And in the meantime, I'm start drawing the trucking. So the idea behind it, it will be a passage up here. Uh, where fishermen will be fishing the tent area over there parking over here this side let me just change the camera there so the roads coming in here parking gonna be here for some cars and then the walk away around the lake where people are fishing and uh, some forest down there so Finger cross for turn out very well. dry and I think the continues is two things I do I use soil effect for the road I'm basically the walking away pathway from Tamiya it's quite good and uh, I'm gonna be uh, doing adding the water into it so the soil effect um, let's just see how I'm gonna do Okay, the layout is getting good now the grass is down I hoover it I entered I put uh, other water effect to it and uh, I ordered this two from Tommy Tech is a barbecue set you can see here I'm not sure if you see it properly nice barbecue set well baby so the barbecue set and the tent the tent side so this was I think four or six dollar was like six hundred again, like six dollar or maybe four dollar each. But I think it's definitely had a great, uh, a great effect to the to the camping. A lot of little pieces in here, very tiny pieces. Mm -hmm. 